It's Wednesday, people. We did it. We made it. We're here. I'm so happy to be here. I hope you're happy to be here, too. I hope you're excited and ready for trivia. Folks, we're going to get started in... You know how it goes. We're going to get started in a, just under two minutes. I'd say just under two minutes is when we are going to start. Hello, Turtle Mom. Who else do we have in here? Yes, Bella Lang. It's Wednesday, my dudes. That is correct. Lassie, Lisa wants wants me to give you an Umbrella Academy game. I have not watched Umbrella Academy yet, but I've heard wonderful things. I'm going to have to check that out. Probably. Yes, thank you, Starlight Sonatas. I, I, I have been corrected, and so I will say the game is beginning presently, not shortly. Presently, the game will begin. We are about 60 seconds away from that beginning. Oh, my chin just hit the mic. Did you hear it? Maybe you did. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Slowpoke Sammy, 17 days until your wedding. Well, let me wish you a very happy wedding. In fact, Jennifer and I, my wife, we are celebrating our anniversary next month. Jennifer, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. Okay, look, she got close to the mic that time. See, it does happen. Folks, presently, we will be beginning this game. No need to be nervous. Otis the King, we're going to have a good time. It's just some harmless trivia. Happy birthday to Dank John. And I am ready to rumble, Caramel, whatever your last name was. You went by too fast. Sometimes the comments go quickly. That means there are a lot of you in here already, almost 21,000 of you. So nothing I can do about that. I can't go back. We, can't, we can only go forward. We got Kimmy celebrating her anniversary October 5th. Happy upcoming anniversary to you. But for now, it's game time. The beginning of the week is behind you. And the weekend is quickly approaching. Which means it's time for the Wednesday edition of Swag Bucks Live. That's the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. It's me again, Hal, the producer of this show, also filling in on every other role, including Grand Prize Presenter. There it is. That's $1,000. That's our grand prize. And everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice trivia questions about various topics will split it. Now, even if you don't get a piece of that grand prize, don't fret because after Q1, you will get one bonus SB for any question you get right. Remember, though, you do have to claim those SB at the end of the game to keep them. There's a little button that comes up that says claim your bonus SB. You click that, they get added to your account. That's how easy it is. It's even easier, though, if you are a grand prize winner today because the bonus SB you earn throughout the game are automatically added to your share of the grand prize. And U.S. players, you may have seen it in the push notification, but I do have a 5SB code for you later in the game, so stay tuned for the details. Now, I prefer a comments-free environment to bring you this game, so let's get them out of the way right now. Just press that button. Let's proceed to your warm-up. Here is question number one. Velveeta is a type of cheese, soft drink, or paper. What is Velveeta? Whether it's in a block form or a viscous liquid in a jar or packet, it's just heaven. And I'm not just saying this because they follow me on Twitter. I love cheese. I'm a cheese lover. They are a cheese. Shout out to Velveeta. 97% of you getting that one right. I have many boxes of shells and cheese ready to go. Such a fun, delicious either meal or side. You can dress it up, dress it down any way you want. But Velveeta, one of the moderns of uh, one of the wonders of modern technology. All right, folks. I think we're about ready to move on. Let's get to question number two. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. What superhero's alter ego works as a reporter for the Daily Planet? Is it Batman, Superman, or Wonder Woman? Which one has an alter ego that works as a reporter? It's the perfect alias for a superhero because you find out about big disasters and problems first. Clark Kent's reporting facilitates his work as Superman. Superman is the answer, living and working in Metropolis, but saving lives the world round. 96% of you getting that one right. Of course, Batman's alter ego is billionaire Bruce Wayne. He's the head of Wayne Industries. And Wonder Woman is Diana Prince, who generally works at museums, works in history because, you know, she's lived through most of it. But folks, we are ready to move on. I've got a bonus SB if you can correctly answer question number three. Here it is. What is the official London residence of the UK's royal family? Is it Versailles, Buckingham Palace, or the Kremlin? 
Where do those royals live? You can visit the exterior of this home and watch the formal changing of the guard. And if you're really lucky, maybe one day you'll get to visit the inside of Buckingham Palace. Maybe you'll get to go to Buckingham Palace. 99% of you know that's the answer, so I assume you want to go there. In fact, one of our hosts has been to Buckingham Palace. That's right. Swag Mom Casey. She went there. She got to visit there right before pandemic. Like, right before. So very cool. She got to go to an official function. Because she's a mover and a shaker, and we miss her. We miss all of our hosts. Let's move on to question number four. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Which founding father proposed redesigning the English alphabet? Was it Thomas Jefferson, Alexander Hamilton, or Ben Franklin? Who wanted to move around or rethink? He wanted to simplify it, and he wanted to get rid of letters he saw as useless, like the letter C. Fortunately for us, this was one Ben Franklin innovation that didn't take. Ben Franklin is the answer. Born in Boston, but of course he is considered a son of Philadelphia. That's where the Franklin Institute is. You can visit his house there. You will not find his redesigned alphabet in use. We use all 26 letters in Philadelphia. That's not a brag. That's just a fact. But hey, 40% of you almost got out, about 39%, but most of you came all the way back in, still over 20,400 of you vying for a piece of the $1,000 grand prize as we move further into this game. Oh, no, people are still rejoining. It's happening in large numbers. Let me tell you a little more about Brent Franklin. He, he created a, a, a musical instrument called the glass harmonica, this giant thing that played very displeasing music to listen to. And every time you went to the, the Franklin Institute as a child, and, and those of you who are playing in Philadelphia might be able to back me up here, you would hear somebody play it and you would go, well, I know why that one didn't make it. Can we go inside the giant heart that you can walk through now? Can we do that? Let's move on to question number five. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Which of these kitchen gadgets is a pressure cooker? Is it the Vegematic, the Instant Pot, or the Nutribullet? Which one is... You know what I was saying. It's so much more than just a pressure cooker. It also sautés, slow cooks, makes yogurt, rice, and so much more before you even get your Instant Pot's air fryer lid. Yeah, that's right. There's an air fryer lid too. Instant Pot is the answer. I use my Instant Pot at least once a week. Love it so much. It is a great tool. Replaces a ton of things you have. I've used a ton of different functions on it. And uh, it always comes out perfect every single time. Thank you, Instant Pot. Let's move on to question number six. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Bless you, Jennifer. Devo's Whip It was inspired by what writer? Is it George Orwell, Emily Bronte, or Thomas Pynchon? Who inspired Devo to write Whip It? Literature and authors inspiring songwriters is nothing new. When Mark Mothersbaugh and Gerald Cassell were writing Whip It, they were inspired by Thomas Pynchon. Thomas Pynchon is the answer. Who knows how many of those names I mispronounced, but 56% of you got it anyway. Well done. But that means a little under half of you have been eliminated. I don't like to see that, but we're getting deeper into the week. The games are getting a little harder, but you're using your free rejoins. And those of you who keep asking, when am I going to get more free rejoins? Very, very soon. In fact, I would tune into tomorrow's Facebook Live broadcast if I were you. You get a little bit more information there. But for now, let's move on to question number seven. It's worth one bonus SB. Here it is. Under Pressure was a duet between Freddie Mercury and who? Was it Mick Jagger, David Bowie, or Paul McCartney? Who was the other half of Under Pressure? Two great, unique voices in rock music came together for this instant classic, featuring the power and bombast of Freddie Mercury and the haunting control of David Bowie. It's the terror of knowing what the world is about. 90% of you getting that one right. That is the David Bowie-specific part of Under Pressure, uh, which friends of mine have described as a fight between the two of them. Who wins? Who wins between those two singers? You get to decide, but 10% of you out. Not happy about it, but I'm glad it's a low number. Let's move on to question number eight. Only three questions left. This one is worth one bonus SB. If you can get it right, here it is. Which of the following did not debut at the 1893 World's Fair? Was it Juicy Fruit Gum, the Ferris Wheel, or the Escalator? 
one of these did not debut at the 1893 World's Fair. A lot of great innovations came out of that World's Fair, which was held in Chicago. So, of course, Wrigley debuted their Juicy Fruit Gum, and the Ferris Wheel was there as well, but the Escalator already existed. Escalator is what I was looking for, and 77% of you getting it right, well done. You know your inventor history. You know your World Fair history. You know your innovations history. And only 23% of you out. I'm sorry to those of you who did not get that one right, but, of course, if you're not rejoining... There are bonus SB for you to earn still, and you have the bonus SB you've already earned along the way. So don't go anywhere, because our next question is worth one bonus SB. It's our second to last question. Here is question number nine. Which of the following is not the name of a Pokemon? Is it Pikachu, Charmander, or Ed? Which of these is not a Pokemon? Pokemon. I don't know if you've heard about those Pokemon thingies, but you absolutely have to catch them all. There are 890 of them at present. Not a single one is named Ed. Ed is the answer I was looking for. 10,508 of you have made it this far, and you are ready for our final question. And if you're saying, but Ed is a character in Pokemon, yeah, he's a human. He's not a Pokemon. I'm asking about the Pokemon. And if you know Ed then I assume that's obscure knowledge. Congratulations for you. But hey, if you had fun playing this game, which is really what it's all about, tell your friends and family about it. Let's have even more fun. Post to social media with the hashtag SBLive, send emails, send texts, but make sure you include your share link, which you get by clicking the Get More Rejoins button in the main menu of this app. Not only does it come with that share link, but it also comes with a code, and anyone who signs up with the link and enters the code concurrently will earn you a free rejoin. That's not bad. Now, before we get to the final question, I have a great opportunity for those of you out there who like money. I assume that's all of you. If you want a fun way to get into investing, try Stash. When you set up your account, you'll get 3,000 SB. And when you deposit your first $5, Stash will add $5 to your account. So you're making money to be smart with the money you already have, plus extra money. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this offer, and you will find U.S. players a 5SB swag code on the offer page. So here's how you get that. You click the stash image that you find after this game, after you've claimed your bonus SB, or after you've won your share of the grand prize, you will see the stash image show up. You click on that. The next page will have your swag code, which you simply enter in the swag button or in the mobile app. It'll be there until 10.30 p.m. Eastern time, 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. Again, click that stash image at the end of this game to get the swag code and the opportunity to earn 3000 SB for, for joining stash. My goodness. We have 11,383 of you vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize, 25,144 and counting people in the game right now. Everyone will earn one bonus SB. If you can correctly answer question number 10, here it is. Which toilet paper brand is eligible for cash back when you upload a receipt to Swagbucks as proof of purchase? Is it Coronet, Caprice, or Charmin? Which toilet paper brand am I talking about? They're my favorite toilet paper brand, partially because of how soft it is and partially because they use bears to advertising it. You can earn 105 SB when you buy Charmin in eligible stores. Charmin is the answer. Get those in-store SB. 11,108 of you knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize. Well done. Bravo. Bravo. Bravo to all. Bravo the nuclear toast. 